day 66 of having Bell's palsy and I think today it's actually a little worse again. I don't know if that coincides with some stressful things I'm going through or not. Probably since it's a stress induced condition and I'm trying my best to keep myself um, with as little stress as possible and trying to relax as much as possible. Um, I really wish that um, doctors understood a little bit more about this even maybe if they don't even know anything about the physical but if they could just know a little bit more about the emotional impact maybe they would you know give people an idea of what to expect emotionally and psychologically um, from having their face completely change overnight and and not have any idea what to do about it and not be able to blink have a harder time eating, um, <clears throat> not be able to do so many things that you wouldn't even think about just from having the left side of your face paralyzed. <clears throat> and it, it puts you in a place where you, you want to isolate yourself because you don't want people to see you. I personally still get out, but it's not fun because it is so embarrassing and, um, and it feels weird to smile because you feel like it doesn't really come across as a smile. <laughs> it looks so weird, you know? And um, I don't know, it's just, just a hard thing to go through. And I think, I wish that more doctors understood what it is, um, what to, uh, what causes it, you know? I mean, besides stress, what actually is happening inside the body to cause it? And and, and actually have ways of determining where you are in your healing process, you know? And, um, I don't know, it's, it's been really tough because Bell's palsy is like just one of many things I'm going through right now. And, um, and I'm just trying to take it day by day um, and just figure things out, you know? Um, and I'm only one person, I can only do so much. Um, I just want to be back to normal, but I know that it takes time. I did watch a video, um, that talked about from a physical therapist. He explained the reasons why it can sometimes take like three months to start seeing any results. I mean, most people see results a little bit sooner. I mean, but with some people with, like me with a more severe case could take like three months to see any kind of movement and so it was kind of encouraging to re to watch that video and think well okay um it takes the nerve so long to get all the way over to wherever it's supposed to get to i guess <laughs> if i understand it correctly which i don't know if i do um i mean another month what's another month i've already done two months right so if if i know that there's a light at the end of the tunnel then it's all right it's fine but what worries me sometimes is thinking, what if it's permanent, you know? And, and uh, what if I have to always put ointment on my eye to be able to keep my eye open and not be in pain? Um, what if I can never blink it again? Um, what if I can never, you know, eat a burger without making a mess? Because, <laughs> I mean, you know how hard it is to put a piece of a burger in your mouth or, um, or a piece of pizza? It's really not easy because I can't open this side. Um, and that's a little inconvenience. It's not really a big deal. The, the big deal is my eye. Um, and also just not being able to communicate as well to people or not feeling as comfortable with it. Um, it feels very uncomfortable. Um, I feel more comfortable talking to a camera than I do talking to people in real life because <laughs> I know they can see me. And I mean, like, the camera can't really see me. I know that other people will see afterwards, but you know, it's somehow it's different talking to a camera. But, um, anyway, uh, yeah, I don't have a lot of confidence. Um, uh, that's kind of been stripped away from me. Um, so yeah. Just trying to get through it.